Okay, sister, most welcome. Your name and your profession and your question. Ya, terima kasih atas kesempatannya. Saya adalah seorang Katolik. E, pertanyaan yang saya yang akan saya tanyakan adalah jika seorang ibu menolak dan memutus hubungan dengan seorang anak karena ia menjadi seorang muslim apakah dibenarkan jika akhirnya anak tersebut menjauh dari ibunya bagaimana Al-Quran menulis tentang hal ini terima kasih oke okay. uh, she mentioned that she's Catholic the question is uh, if there is a child and embracing Islam Uh, but and because of that, uh, her parents uh, try to avoid and to reject the child. And uh, how should she behave? How should the child behave according to the Quran? The sister said that she's a Catholic, and if if a non-Muslim accepts Islam, and if the parents realize that she accepts Islam and they reject her, how should she behave? If a non-Muslim accepts Islam and the parents come to know and they reject her, how should she behave? She should behave much better to her parents than what she was before she accepted Islam. The moment a non-Muslim accepts Islam, he should or she should be better than what he or she was before they accepted Islam. Because Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 14, and Surah Ankabur, chapter number 29, verse number 8, we have enjoined on the human beings to be good to their parents. It is compulsory that you should be good to your parents. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that paradise lies beneath the feet of the mother. That means, even if your parents are non-Muslim yet, you have to love them, you have to respect them. Our beloved, the other person, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 8, in the book of Adab, book of manners, chapter number 2, hadith number 2, a man approaches the prophet and asks him, who deserves the maximum love and companionship? The prophet said, your mother. The man asked after that too. The prophet said, your mother. The man asked after that too. The prophet said, your mother. The man asked after that too. The prophet said, your father. That means 75%, three-fourths of the love and companionship goes to the mother, one-fourth goes to the father. In short, mother gets the gold medal, she gets the silver medal, as well as the bronze medal. The father has to be satisfied with the mere consolation prize. These are the teachings of Islam. Even if you become a Muslim, and your parents are yet non-Muslim, yet, yet, you have to respect your mother. You have to obey her. Only those things what your parents tell you, which are against the Quran, and against the teaching of the Sahih Hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, those are the only things you can refuse to follow. Because the same verse when it continues, Surah Luqman chapter 31 verse number 15, and Surah Ankabut chapter number 29 verse number 8 says, that if your parents do jihad, strive and struggle to make you worship somebody else besides Allah, don't obey them. Yet, live with them with love and companionship. That means, once you accept Islam, you have to be a better child, better daughter, better son than what you were before. For example, your mother wanted you to wear blue and you hated blue color. The moment you accept Islam, now you start wearing blue. Because wearing blue is not haram. Your mother would start thinking, my, my daughter never wore blue and now she's wearing blue because I like it. You have to tell. In Islam, I have to love you. I have to respect you. You have to take care of more. Take care her of more. See to it that you talk to her more kindly. If you give her, if you're an adult, if she requires, give her more money. Speak to her more kindly. There should be a difference. They should think, what has happened to my daughter? What has happened to my son? They have changed completely. They are so obedient, they listen to me. Only those things which are haram in Islam, which is against the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, only those things you don't obey. Everything else, you follow them, obey them, love them, sacrifice for them. They should notice a difference. 
that what has happened to my child, to my son, to my daughter, then you say, this is Islam. We have to love our parents, we have to respect her, we have to take care of her. Hope that answers the question. Sister, have you read about Islam? Can you ask the question? Ask the sister. Brother, yeah, we are not doing your job properly, brother. What happened? Brother, according to the according to the community, we, we, uh, our time is over. Ah, fine. At least, at least finish this. Okay. okay. Do your job first. Okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you talking somewhere else? You can't do two things at the same time. You are a coordinator, mashallah. Ask the sister, has she read about Islam? Ask the sister. Brother, do you understand English? Ask the sister. Can somebody help him? Inna lillahi wa inna wa rajiu. Uh, Pak yang barusan bertanya uh, sudah bersahadat? Apakah sudah bersahadat atau belum? Ya, yeah, brother, I never asked that. What are you saying? What are you asking her? Uh, have, you, you, have you declared, sh declared shahadat? Did I say that? Did I say that? There's a problem. I don't know. Most of Brother, I said, ask her, did she read about Islam? Where did I say, did you say the Shada? Please, see to it that the coordinator was there on the stage. Uh, sorry, sir. Please ask her, yeah. has she read about Islam? Uh, here, your name is Michelle. Michelle uh, is still confusing about which one the religion is uh, what is it she will choose and instead her sister is mu'alaf now but she is confusing how to convince her mom or her father to accept them as a child but in the different religion in catholic i am asking you to ask her yeah? does she have knowledge about islam Apakah, apakah uh, anda um, uh, yeah, memiliki? Yeah, she wants to learn about Islam. Does she believe that there is one God? Apakah kamu percaya tentang adanya See, she is doing a very good job. Yeah, she believes in one God. Does she believe that Jesus is God or is the messenger of God? Percaya Jesus Tuhan atau Jesus itu utusan Tuhan? She believes that Jesus is the messenger of God. Mashallah. Does she believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? She believes that Muhammad is also the messenger of God. Mashallah, that means she's a Muslim. To be a Muslim, tell her two things are required. Yeah. To believe there is one God, to believe Jesus is the messenger of God, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Yes, sir. So she believes, according to me, she's a Muslim. For this time, she doesn't any she doesn't brave to declare because her sister because her sister accept a different 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 what is it? Different religion. No, no. Her sister is a Mus Muslim now, and her mother is angry with her, and she doesn't want her sister doesn't want uh, the younger sister will be accepted in the same way. Ask her who is greater. God or mother? Her mother is greater or God is greater? I believe in God. No, who is greater? Your mother or your God? God. 
God. So, if if your God gets angry, aren't you scared of your God? If your God gets angry. Takut Tuhan marah. Saya hanya ingin bertanya. Say in, say in English, sister. I'm Tell afraid me. Afraid of God. Okay. Now, who should she love more, God more or the mother more? The first place is God. Correct. Who should should be, who should she be afraid of displeasing? First, God or mother? Afraid of displeasing, mother or God? God. Correct. So first priority is God. Mother is important, very important. She should love her. But displeasing the God is more bad than displeasing the mother. So if she has a choice between the two, she should first follow God and then try and please the mother later on. Yang Uh, she thinks that in Islam, mother is number one. Yes, yes, number one among the human being, but not above Allah and His Rasul, not above God and the Messenger. Among the human being, yes, I, I agree with you. I believe God is number one, but in Islam kita diajarkan untuk menghormati ibu. Saya menjauh dari ibu saya bukan karena saya tidak sayang, bukan karena saya tidak ingin berbakti, tapi saat saya dekat justru saya ingin dipisahkan dengan keluarga saya karena saya tidak sama dengan dia. Sekarang permasalahannya adalah adik saya kebingungan. Kalau saya mungkin sudah punya penghasilan meskipun saya masih bersusah payah untuk menghidupi keluarga saya. Sedangkan adik saya ini posisinya masih sekolah. Kalau misalkan dengan istilahnya dia mengucapkan syahadat dan menjadi muslim, Lalu dia dibuang dari keluarga. Apa yang harus saya lakukan? Itu. Terus kalau saya sementara menjauh karena kondisi ibu saya masih belum bisa menerima, saya hanya bisa berusaha untuk mendoakan saja. Well, the sisters, what I understand from the translation, the sister said that she is afraid that the mother will get angry. Because the sister accepted Islam and she's angry, she's afraid that she will make the mother angry, therefore she's confused. Sister, I would like you I would like to ask you a question. Do you want your mother to go to Jannah or not? Do you want your mother to go to paradise or not? Yes. So if you want her to go to paradise, if you don't accept Islam and if you don't tell her, then how will she go to paradise? Saya merasa belum punya kemampuan untuk itu karena saya juga masih banyak yang saya tanyakan sehingga saya merasa tidak kompeten untuk mengajak ibu saya. Tapi dalam hati jauh dalam hati kecil saya 
Saya ingin suatu saat ibu saya juga hanya mempunyai Tuhan. That that she feels she's unable to yet understand many things about Islam. So how she will tell the mother, sister, even if you don't understand Islam correctly, at least you told now that you believe there is one God. You believe Jesus is not God but messenger of God. Peace be upon him. You believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Only say this is sufficient. This is the minimum. You don't have to become a scholar or a sheikh. As long as you know you take out the shirk from your life, only by believing that Jesus, peace be upon him, is not God, is a messenger of God, itself is removing the shirk. If you can't understand, take my video cassette, similarities between Islam and Christianity. I'm sure the translation has been done in the Bahasa language. Give it to your mother. You don't have to open your mouth also. But it is important that you save yourself from hellfire first. After saving yourself, you have to save your mother. On the day of judgment, you will be responsible for your actions and deeds. Your mother will be responsible for her actions and her deeds. If you understand, if you realize Allah is one, if you realize Jesus is the messenger of God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, peace be upon them. And if you do not tell your mother, on the day of judgment, your mother will ask you, if you knew, why didn't you tell me? And what reply will you give? She tells that she wants to give some videos about yours to her mom. Good. She, she should give my videos to her mom, but she should save herself also. If she realizes that there's one God and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a messenger, she should accept it. That will save her from the hellfire. Ask her, does she know how long will she live? Pardon, sir? Da ask her, does she know how long will she live? I don't know. Don't know. What if you go out of this university and if a car comes and you have an accident, what will happen? Yes, I said. If you go out and if you have an accident and you die and God will ask you, why didn't you accept Islam? What will you reply? You heard the lecture of Dr. Zakir Naik. You understood. You agreed, but didn't accept. Who's to blame? You or me? Of course, me. So what reply will you have then? Pardon, sir. What reply will she have? That if something happens tomorrow, she dies and she does not accept Islam, then who will be responsible? Yeah, mungkin adik saya, my sister. So that's what I'm asking you, sister, that if she agrees that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, why isn't she accepting it? Oh, 
I request the organizers, Mr. Bukhari, next time, see to it that you have a good translator on the stage. You know, we are losing. We Muslims are to blame. Allah will ask you on the day of judgment when Dr. Zakir Naik came to Indonesia, why didn't you keep a good translator on the stage? What will you reply? There are many people who want to love Islam, who want to learn Islam, only by seeing my video cassette they accept Islam. I come to Indonesia and you don't have a good translator on the stage. Who's to blame? Zakir Naik. Keep someone who's fluent in English. Don't you have one person in the whole of Indonesia? You see the Christian missionaries, when they go, when they have their discourses in foreign languages, they're expert. They do the same modulation as the speaker, sentence by sentence. This is the stage of the Muslim Ummah today. We can't even translate to a non-Muslim about our deen. Yes, sister, I'm waiting for the answer. See how much time we are wasting. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, someone told me that uh, Bapak Translator, kalau bisa sehabis Bapak Zakir Naik. Say in English, say in English. Okay. Someone told me that as a translator, please after Dr. Zakir Naik said something, Directly, the, the, the translator ba, 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 ba. Uh, translate in Indonesia, ba, ba. but not in the text, but uh, I mean orally, so that we can ba, ba. understand stop, stop. all. Stop Thank aja, you. Ba. Stop aja, Mbak. Langsung ke pertanyaan. Saya yang terjemahin. I will. Ah, Masya Allah. Uh, sorry, 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 it's not about the question, but the understanding. Ayo, Wait. langsung aja pertanyaan oh. lagi ulang. Dr. Zakir tadi bertanya, kalau Anda tidak tahu kapan Anda meninggal dan tiba-tiba nanti keluar dari ruangan ini, ada kecelakaan Anda meninggal dunia, bagaimana tentang diri Anda sendiri? Anda belum bersyahadat, belum masuk ke Islam. Apakah Anda siap untuk mempertanggungjawabkan tentang diri Anda, bukan tentang ibu Anda? di hadapan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala langsung aja jawab pakai bahasa Indonesia gak usah diterjemahin lagi mbak mbak gak usah dijelasin lagi langsung aja jawab yang bersangkutan panitia lain mundur langsung yang bersangkutan tolong Masih ada apa enggak? Ya saya merasa bersalah kalau saya tidak bisa membantu mereka. Bukan tentang mereka, tentang diri Anda sendiri yang ditanya oleh dokter Zakir. Oh, maksud, maksudnya kalau Bapak Anda adik mening... saya. Oh. Anda sudah Islam belum? Alhamdulillah sudah. Oke. Okay. He, he is Muslim dokter. Is Muslim. My elder sister is a Catholic. There is mistake. She is Muslim already. No, no. I know that there is. I can understand that it is changing. One is a sister who has accepted Islam. The other sister, the younger sister, she is yet a Catholic. Both are coming one on, one after the other on the microphone. The first lady who came who asked the question. She was a Catholic and she agreed that there is one Allah and she agreed that Muhammad is the messenger. But she is getting scared to accept Islam because she doesn't want to hurt her sister. Correct? Yeah. So I am asking that sister who is a Catholic that is it more important to please Allah or to please the mother? Who is more important? Yeah, pertanyaannya apakah yang penting adalah uh, mendapatkan ridho Allah atau uh, ridho dari ibu anda itu pertanyaannya lebih penting Tuhan God is more important 
Sorry? God. Yes. Ask her, does she believe there is one God? Apakah anda percaya dengan satu Tuhan? Ya, yeah, saya percaya. Yes. Does she believe Jesus is a messenger of God or is he God? Apakah anda percaya Yesus adalah Tuhan atau utusan Tuhan? Yesus adalah utusan Tuhan. Yesus is a messenger of God. Masya Allah. Does she... Does she believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, peace be upon him? Apakah anda percaya Nabi Muhammad adalah utusan Tuhan? Ya, yes, saya percaya. Yes. Kala, so the minimum requirement for anyone to be a Muslim is believe there is one God, believe Jesus is the messenger of God, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. That means she is a Muslim. Ya, berarti anda seorang Muslim karena anda percaya kepada satu Tuhan, percaya bahwa Yesus adalah utusan Tuhan dan Nabi Muhammad SAW adalah utusan Tuhan. Anda Islam, Anda Muslim. That means you the Muslim. Ya. Tell her, tell her. Berarti Anda adalah, adalah seorang Muslim. Ya. Yeah. Once if you believe in these two things, you enter into Islam, you enter the nursery. Then later on, slowly, slowly, you'll go into the first standard, second standard, third standard. But minimum requirement is these two things what she said. Syarat minimum untuk menjadi seorang Muslim hanya dua: percaya kepada Tuhan yang satu dan percaya bahwa Nabi Muhammad adalah utusan Tuhan, utusan Allah. Urusan lain nanti diurus belakangan. Let me see, you already a Muslim. Ya, berarti adalah adalah seorang Islam. Would she like to say the same thing in Arabic? What she said Apakah about one Allah? Would she like to say in Arabic? Dalam bahasa Arab? Gak usah dijelaskan, Mbak, please. Mbak, gak usah dijelaskan. Ben, don't interfere, please. Gak usah dijelaskan, langsung let, aja yang bersangkutan. Let Bukhari doing a very good job. Insyaallah, he'll get sawab. Alhamdulillah. You have got a good Indonesian here. The way he's translating, I can understand he's doing a good job. Yeah. Let us speak directly. Yeah. Langsung, langsung, Pak. Jawab. Would you like to say that in Arabic? Apakah anda bersedia menjawab, menyatakan dalam bahasa Arab? That there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Would you like to say in Arabic? Hanya ada satu Tuhan dan Nabi Muhammad adalah utusan Tuhan? Iya. Yeah. Yes. Masya Allah. Insya Allah, I'll say in Arabic. And after I say, you can repeat it. Insya Allah, Dr. Naik akan menyatakan dalam bahasa Arab dan silakan diikuti. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. Masya Allah. Can you, yeah, can dalam, you repeat dalam in dalam Indonesia? Dalam bahasa Indonesia, ikuti ah. saya. Saya can, bersaksi. Can you repeat? Saya bersaksi. Saya bersaksi bahwa tidak ada Tuhan. Bahwa tidak ada Tuhan selain Allah. Selain Allah dan Nabi Muhammad. Dan Nabi Muhammad adalah utusannya. Adalah utusannya dan pesuruhnya. Dan pesuruhnya. Takbir. Allah akbar. Takbir. Allah akbar. Takbir. Allah akbar. That was for the sister to accept Islam and one more takbir for Brother Bukhari. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Allah has made him the zariah for getting her hidayah. Amen. May Allah reward sister for accepting Islam. May Allah forgive your sin and may Allah reward Brother Bukhari for doing a good translation. Amen. Zariah is very important. See. Amen. Brother. Yes. You are about to lose. Jazakallah shukran. And I pray, inshallah, see to it that you all get trained in this field of comparative religion. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give hidayah to all of us so that we can strive in spreading his message. I'd like to end this session. And inshallah, when time permits, we'll come again. Inshallah.